Hello everyone, it's Twyla. Um, it's been a while since I have done a video and I thought I'd come on tonight, yes it's tonight, and do a quick uh, demonstration on a very easy dish. Uh, if you have, say, last minute guests that want to come over or you don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen but you want a home cooked meal, uh, this is definitely um, a meal um, that can be prepared in a very short time. Uh, this is my daughter's favorite meal. She loves um, uh, the peppers and Italian sausage. So we're going to get started. Um, tonight we are going to be using um, the, the Italian stallion. The Italian stallion is, now I'll, I'll take some out and show you guys. The Italian stallion is full of um, oregano and rosemary. Um, onions, garlic, marjoram, a little bit of pepper. Uh, the Italian stallion is one of my salt-free options. Um, so of course you'll need to add your own sodium. So for the sodium content, um, I am going to use some everyday essential because I still get a duplicate of the onion, the garlic, the rosemary, the parsley. Um, so it mirrors the Italian very well. Um, as you can see, I have um, a cast iron wok. Um, I love it just because it's big. Um, I've fried chicken in this. I've cooked stir fry, so many things in this. I absolutely love it. So it has been heating up. Um, and I will say that this dish, um, you can pre-make a lot of these things ahead of time. Um, say if you're meal planning. You can cook your sausages ahead of time. This is just like a, like Johnsonville Brats, but this is a, a, a First Street brand, just a sweet Italian sausage. You can get the sweet, the spicy, or the mild. Um, you have uh, pasta. Um, you really can get any shape you want, but this um, actually holds up the pen of pasta um, with the ridges in it, uh, collects the the seasoning and everything and so it grabs on to uh, the ingredients and the flavors that are in the dish so I like that and then you have the little holes so you'll get all kind of little bites of goodness with that um, I have some fresh parsley chopped up I have some fresh garlic chopped up here and I also have um, peppers so I always do a, a combination. The only color I think that's missing here is orange, but this came in a four pack. Here, let me pull this off of here for a second. Um, this came in a four pack. So you get um, one, I have one red, one green, one yellow uh, pepper, and then I have onions, um, probably about a half of a large onion. This dish you can make as little or as much as you need to if you need a bigger uh, wok. You only need the, the heat to uh, saute your veggies a little um, because again the sausage is pre-cooked, the pasta is pre-cooked, and all the other ingredients are just raw. So we will put this over the heat. Um, I have added um, a little touch of olive oil just to cook saute the vegetables. Um, this veg, this dish I find tastes uh, better when you don't cook the peppers until soggy. You want them to have a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a bite um, because you want to taste the peppers but you don't want it to be cooked till it's soggy uh, because then it'll it'll take away from the dish. Okay. Um, you can also use little mini peppers that come in like a little bag um, any type of this uh, any type of peppers would work you can there's actually an orange bell pepper you can use that as well so this should be hot this has been heating up for quite some time uh, normally I use avocado oil but I'm out so I am using olive oil olive oil does burn very easily very quickly so uh, be careful with that Oh, and I do want to say, I do not make everything from scratch, okay? I, I forgot to show you this. This is a bottle Italian dressing. 
it makes the job go so much faster because again, this is one of those quick meals. You don't want to waste a lot of time in the kitchen. But with the Italian stallion, a little bit of every day, some vinegar and some olive oil, uh, apple cider vinegar to be exact, and some olive oil, you can make your own Italian dressing, but this is a quick meal. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a little shortcut. I'm all about shortcuts. It just depends on what I have going on. Okay, so first I'm just gonna add all my veggies. And I am going to use my bamboo stir. But what makes it special is because it has my name engraved on it. Um, I have these for sale on the website, FYI. So I am just going to start out by sauteing my pepper and onion mixture. I am going to add a little bit of every day. And you don't want to add too, too much because the Italian seasoning, because it's coming out of a bottle, it does have uh, sodium in it. So you just want to be careful. Um, and you can always add more at the end to taste. Because once you add your pasta, um, the pasta will uh, soak up some of the sodium. So you may need to add that for a little more flavor. Um, and I'm also going to add just a touch of Italian seasoning and I say just a touch because of the garlic that's in there garlic burns really easy So as you see, I don't even have my garlic in here yet To give this a little bit of stir and I like this wok because You know how it when you're stirring and stuff flies out the pan you get plenty of room Okay and as soon as they start getting a little glossy and you can see the onions are starting to um, get a little translucent. I'm going to add my sausage. Okay. This is about two packs. And they come like five or six in a pack. You can use as much or as little meat as you would like. I'm not going to use all of that. The cool thing about this dish is, oh, see, there you go. The cool thing about this dish is um, you don't have to make it a pasta dish. You could literally stop before you add the pasta and get a nice toasted sub roll and make this into like sandwiches, uh, sub sandwiches. Okay, so now that I have the sausage in there, remember the sausage is already done. Um, you're really just warming everything up, making it hot. So this is actually something that you can pre-make everything and then you could literally uh, take this, whip it up, the finishing steps 10 minutes before everybody sits down at the table and it'll be piping hot. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic because, again, like I said, garlic burns really fast. So we add that um, a little bit later in the process. Give that a little bit of a stir. Okay. And I'm just going to taste it to see what the salt is like. It was really, really good. Mm. I'll just add a touch more every day. And of course, a little more Italian seasoning. Now, would be the perfect time to go ahead and add some fresh parsley and you can save some for the end um, herbs and and spices uh, they taste different at different uh, times that you add them in the cooking process so uh, when you add something in the beginning 
you'll get flavor, of course. But then you can layer your flavors by um, halfway through the process, maybe adding a little bit more. Um, that definitely will give, because food changes, the taste of it changes um, as, it, as the food itself changes in the cooking process. Okay. All right. So literally, at this point in the game, this will make a good sandwich, a good Italian sausage sandwich toast you a bun like you want a, a a bun that'll that won't get soggy so like a french baguette uh bolillos um are really um a little dense on the outside soft on the inside uh, that would work too this probably would even be good on like a pretzel bun okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and add pasta and i would just add the pasta in stages because you don't want too much pasta, um, but you don't want not enough. And then we're going to go ahead and add our uh, Italian dressing. Um, any brand will work. Uh, I got the Zesty Robust because, you know, the more flavor, the better. Ah, here we go. And I'm literally going to squeeze that in there and you have to remember it looks like a lot but you have to remember that the pasta is going to start soaking up the the moisture soaking up the flavors and at this point I would you could turn it down on low because you don't want to recook everything you're just basically heating heating things up Okay. And depending on the amount of pasta you put in, you if you need if it like starts to dry out, you just add a little bit more Italian dressing. Doesn't that look good? You could finish it off with just a little bit 